Hello, my tarot lovers. It's Anna here, and I've got my tea and tarot, and we are heading into twilight. So I am here. I got rid of my screen on the outside of the window. <laughs> so now my desk doesn't have that, uh, that uh, mesh look to it, which is good. Um, <laughs> so I bought more than one of these decks on that like when I got a deal and this deck is like some of the cards are stuck together again you get what you paid for and I got like five decks for $60 right so um, it doesn't negate the message that the cards have so we're gonna go with that This deck is another Doreen Virtue deck, and I got a lot of Doreen Virtue decks because I wanted to, um, I wanted to explore her decks now that she's not making them anymore, and I wanted to, um, you know, just kind of see what they were all about. I like the fact that they have stuff like written on the deck. Um, it helps you definitely uh, interpret the cards better without having to look anything up from a booklet or a guidebook. So that is good. So we're going to see for our Twilight Tarot. What messages or daily guidance do we have from our angels today? <laughs> oh. oh, there's two there. funny because that was the one that was on the bottom when I started shuffling. Strange. All right. So, innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So, whether you believe that angels are around us or not, that's entirely up to you. There is something, there are some kind of greater being out there, something willing to help us, guide us. Um, so as long as you're truthful, you have nothing to feel guilty about, right? As long as you're innocent in... Sorry about that, my friends. I'm gonna have to mesh a couple pieces together with uh, this, because I had a child come out in the middle of my reading, and, and they were not going back to what they were doing. <laughs> so... I had to take care of that first. <laughs> um, so it says everyone is guiltless in truth, right? So as long as you're being honest, and and it, more than being honest with another person, I think that you have to be honest with yourself. That's where it needs to start, okay? Honesty starts, it starts at home. It starts with you. You need to be completely honest with yourself um, before you can be honest with anyone else, right? No one can alter the handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so you can lighten your load. They're there to help. They're there to, to take, to help carry, right? So that, so that you can find peace. To help you work through things. Because you can't just say, 
Oh, hey angels, here's my luggage with all my crap. Um, take care of it for me. You do have to work through it eventually, okay? So they might be able to carry it for you in the short term until you get yourself, you know, right in the head to be able to deal with whatever's going on, okay? Um, they're not there to be taken advantage of, of course, but they're there to help, right? And I think the part, the place that we need to probably spend the most time um, is in this chakra. It's the center of our major chakras, okay? The heart chakra. Love is in the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So they're there to help you center yourself, your physical self in your being. They're there to help you, um, you know, attune that chakra, right? To be able to look into your heart, to be able to, to speak from your heart, right? Not a lot of people can do that. Some people have a real difficult time just speaking up, period, right? They, they take all of their words and they bury them. And they think that if they don't have to deal with it, then it'll fix, fix itself. But that's not how that works. It really isn't. The more you bury the more likely you are to just, at some point, explode. And that's not good for anyone. Right? And this one was on the bottom. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We are governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. You have to ask for help. Yesterday's Twilight Tarot had a card um, very similar, and it was ask for what you want, right? If you, if you can't say what you want, if you can't verbalize it, then you probably aren't ready for it, right? Let's, let's just be honest there. Um, but yeah, you have to be able to ask because... Yes, they're governed by free will. So if you aren't asking for the help, they aren't going to automatically do the things in order to help you. You need to ask. You need to be aware that, you know, asking for help, sometimes there are, I don't exactly want to say consequences to it, but sometimes there are things that might seem like consequences, okay? So sometimes when you ask for help with something, the help or the correct direction that they want to move you in is one that you weren't prepared for, okay? So you need to understand that when you ask for help, sometimes you get something that you weren't expecting. Sometimes you get something that maybe you don't want. A lot of people can't face that sometimes there is a truth beyond what they want. Sometimes they can't face the fact that, you know, certain things have run their course, have come to pass, and they should be let go of instead of clinging to it. So sometimes you need to ask for help to be able to do the things, as hard as they may be, that you need to do that are for your best good. But ask for help. They are here to help, believe it or not. And is this deck going to shuffle well for me? We shall see. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. And these are the... So those are the daily guidance. And these are called Angel Therapy oracle cards, again, by Doreen Virtue. I know that the real decks are so much bigger, 
but honestly, I love this size. <laughs> I love this size Oracle card because it's so much easier to shuffle. It's like basically the size of like a normal deck of playing cards. Alright, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> after I pulled these three cards and I started shuffling this other deck, um, my phone stopped recording and I have no idea why. <laughs> so, um, here we are. And I'm going to go over these three cards again. I mean, they really just tie into these, okay? So these two dropped, this was the bottom of the deck. These two dropped, this was the bottom of the deck, okay? And these two dropped together, just as these two did. Um, now, these two say a lot of the similar things that the last deck did, okay? Um, one is called God Box. And it says, write your worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you, right? So again, just asking for help, right? We had the ask card over here. So, you know, and as long as you are guiltless in your truth, they will come and help you. But again, they have to abide by certain rules. And one of them has to be, you need to ask for their help, okay? So if you, you know, if you want to call it a wish box, you know, if you don't do the big G word, then, you know, call it whatever, whatever you want, a manifestation box, right? Um, whatever you want, but you have to ask for help. They are there to help. Absolutely. Um, and then this one was manifestation power. And it says, use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. Okay? And this guy right here on the front is the guy you need to call on if you need to cut something out of your life. If you need to cut something away that is not working for you, I believe the dude on the front here would be Archangel Michael. Because he's got that sword. Okay? Um, and he is the one that that, that sword does cuttings. Like cord cuttings, soul cuttings, like if you are tethered to something, a situation, a person, whatever the case may be, and you want that to be done with, then Michael is who you need to, to ask for help because that sword comes in handy. All right. And use your spiritual gifts to do that, to ask for his help. All right. Um, and this was the bottom of the deck. And it says law of attraction relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies i think as we manifest as we grow we do change and um i've always said this like when you're in a relationship or a marriage uh you can either grow together or grow apart right if what is going on is no longer serving yours or your partner's best good, then you've grown apart and somebody needs to ball up and be able to say like, hey, this isn't working anymore. We need to go our separate ways or whatever the case may be. Um, but there are times when, when as you grow as a person, Sometimes the person who's with you isn't on the same path, the same growth spurt, if you will. So, sometimes you are at a V and you each take a separate road. It happens. Trust me, it happens. It happened with me. <clears throat> and then, um... I have this little Gaia Oracle deck, which I got. So it's Guidance, Affirmations, Transformation, and the deck is by Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, and I just think that the artwork is beautiful. I think what sold me originally was the back of the cards. They're beautiful. <coughs> Pardon me. And I shuffled this one, and this one popped out, and it says the message. 
positive news, positive outcome. And funny enough, I didn't notice this <clears throat> my last recording, and maybe that's why the recording cut out. But look at the colors in those two cards. Look how similar that all of that is, right? That dove in both of them. That's insane. All right, the dove is like one of the symbols that you will find. Um, it doesn't matter what religion, <clears throat> what country you go to, the dove symbolizes something. Doves were used on ships to check for land, right? If they came back with a sprig from a tree or a leaf, then, or if they didn't come back at all, then you knew that they had found some land. <clears throat> if they went up high enough and didn't see that there was anything around, they would just come back to the ship with nothing. Then you knew you still had to sail, right? But finding that land was good news, right? It meant prosperity for the sailors, that they were getting where they needed to go, right? Doing what they needed to do. Positive news, positive outcome. <clears throat> and the card that is on the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Hearts. And it says Fulfillment, Harmony, Protection. Fulfillment, Harmony, Protection. It's a beautiful card. And just know that, you know, <laughs> whatever you have going on, you're protected. And you're going to have a positive outcome. And I'm sorry, but I am all about synchronicities. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but numbers hit me in a big way. Do you see those? Do you see those numbers? What's three plus seven? What's two plus eight? That's right. That just kind of tells me my message is complete. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I'm sorry it had to be done in three different parts. <laughs> we are still kind of twilight where I am at, so um, I hope by the time I get this uploaded, it is not completely dark for you. And I'm going to go now and continue along with my new moon pulls. I did Aries through Cancer yesterday. <clears throat> I'm hoping to do Leo through Scorpio tonight and get those uploaded and you can find those on my youtube channel i am also working on getting them loaded to instagram and you can also find me on facebook um which is wild weird world of healing all right my friends i hope this finds you well i hope you enjoy your twilight wherever you may be and we'll see you soon bye for now